Hello everybody, Miss Skits here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Texas Chainsaw, the 2013 one. Um, this is what I meant <laughs> when I was reviewing the uh, Evil Dead, is that sometimes they get it spot on, like Evil Dead was amazing. But this is not a remake, it's not a sequel. Or, it may be a sequel. Is it a remake of a sequel? I don't understand where this movie fits in the Texas Chainsaw timeline. It's like it wanted to start its own. And it's like, okay, well, we have the original Texas Chainsaw timeline. It's great. Then we have the remake of Texas Chainsaw. And then that had its own little timeline going on because we had the prequel and they were the Hewitt family and not the Sawyer family. You know, things were different, but <laughs> they just, yeah, I'm wearing like a little tube dress and it just, that's a lot of orange. Holy shit, I don't know if it's going to turn out on the computer like this, but on my little screen here, it's like neon orange. Anyway, I like orange. Um, off topic. Yeah. The sequence, the uh, timeline, it just doesn't make sense to me where this movie fits. Beyond that, <laughs> the movie itself, okay, let me just get into it here. I don't have notes today, so I'm going to be <laughs> everywhere. The movie itself, I've watched this three times now. Um, it starts out, <laughs> this is timeline with the uh, footage from the original Texas Chainsaw 70s footage it's just yeah then it kind of goes into where this is where it kind of gets me you have Bill Mosley playing Leatherface's who's Jed now plays Leatherface's father instead of Chop Top Maybe that's trying to tie in some family resemblance. I don't know. Because, you know, Texas Chainsaw 2. He... Anyway, I digress. But we have Bill Mosley. There's this big shootout. Because, you know, it's Texas and vigilantes and... Oh my god. I hate... Like, that's so hysterical. 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 Typical. Stereotypical. These vigilante Texan hillbillies. And I happen to like the South. Um, it gets a bad rap. I've never been. But places like Texas and like Tennessee and uh, the whole place, <laughs> Southern States, the Southern United States, I want to go there because I'm like, I love that. But it gets a bad rap for hillbillies and this is doing it no favors but anyway they killed the entire Sawyer family or so they think and then this hilljack fucker goes out and finds a lady with a baby and he steals the baby kills the lady cuz his wife is all barren and shit and you know shit happens they steal the baby they raise the baby. Baby turns out to be this hot chick, um, which is great. She finds out that her grandmother died, left her this house, finds out that she was adopted, and her family was from Texas. So, and you know, she gets angry when she goes to check out this house that she inherited. Okay, we get there. It's well, it's the Sawyer family house. There's a graveyard in the friggin' backyard for one thing. A graveyard. Which I think would be kinda cool, but yeah. Oh my god, strapless shirts and like boo! Keeps falling. Um I wouldn't mind, but it makes me kinda look like I'm not wearing clothing. I should have maybe tilted the cam maybe I should tilt the camera down a little. I keep forgetting I have a tripod now. There. Much better. M no, now I don't have a head. Oh my god, technical difficulties. There. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All is well. Technical difficulties. Anyway. 
She goes to this house that she inherited with her friends, including this guy that's driving that I don't really like. Some slutty girl that is definitely not as pretty as uh, the uh, main character and her boyfriend who just drives me nuts. This guy is so unattractive. Just... Anyway... <laughs> he's just... He's not my dad. He's just... No. Yeah. So they pick up this guy they, who they actually hit. Hitchhiker, they bring him with them. Because, you know, that's the thing to do. He ends up being a thief and stealing a bunch of shit. That's... Whatever. But anyway, they get to the house, and in the basement of the house, the thief guy, of course, he has to have a plot point. He opens up the door while they're gone looking for barbecue supplies. This door in the basement, and Leatherface happens to be still alive and living in the basement. We all saw that coming. Leatherface happens to be this Missy's cousin. I think her name is Heather. I can't remember. I've seen this movie three times now, and I cannot remember her real name. That tells you how much I like this movie. Anyway, yeah, you know, killing ensues, that's about all I'm going to go into. Um, just a little spoiler, so if you don't want to know what happens, I'm sure everybody already do, just, you know, mute this part or just skip this part of the video. Um, they get together, not get together, because god damn, I know, I know it's like Texas Chainsaw and shit, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna call her Heather, because <laughs> I keep thinking that's her name, it might be. She sods with Leatherface in the end, with the, uh, wonderful line of, uh, do your thing, cuz. And I think that is the biggest thing I hate about the movie. Yeah, it don't fit in the timeline. It's very, it's trying too hard. It's, I think the word's contrite I'm looking for. It's just really trying to fit in the timeline, but it don't. It doesn't make any sense to me, but the acting and writing, I just don't like. I really don't. <laughs> I don't like, um, that line gets to me. She picks up the chainsaw, throws it across the floor, and is like, do your thing, cuz. Cuz, you know. Yeah. Um, there's another line. Oh, um, I'm not sure if the line itself bugs me or the delivery of the line, but when the supposedly hot chick, the slutty chick, picks up the shotgun and says, welcome to Texas, <laughs> it's like... It's like, welcome to Texas. She's with shotguns. Like, dude, you're not from Texas. He's from Texas. That's why you don't hit him. I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan. Like, I liked the movie in its own way, but I re it really wasn't the better <laughs> movie that I've seen lately. I really, not a huge fan. I bought it anyway, because you knew I was going to. And I, uh, I've watched it three times, which is more than I've given some movies lately. I just kind of turned them off. So, it's not all that bad, but really, it's not up to the caliber of any Texas Chainsaw movies. I'm going to be so bold to say, because seriously, people are going to be like, what the hell, when they hear this. But I'm going to be so bold to say that I actually enjoyed Texas Chainsaw The Next Generation more than I enjoyed this one. I really, as its own movie, maybe, but as a part of the Texas Chainsaw universe, not up to the caliber. It's just not up to par. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. I'm going to give it about maybe a 6 out of 10. That's kind of generous. I need to get a better rating system because I kind of just come up with shit off the top of my head. Sometimes it's at a 5, sometimes it's at a 10, but I'm going to say 6 out of 10 for this one. Just because it is watchable, but it's not the best. It's not well written, well acted. It's well shot, I'll say. Like, the video itself looks good. Like, it's visually good, but the actual... It's like they put too much time and effort and money into making the movie look good instead of actually getting, you know, people 
to act right. Yeah. So I'm going to go. Six out of ten. Solid six out of ten. And thanks everybody for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. That all helps me out a lot to get myself out there. It doesn't actually do anything for me, but, you know, it'd be great. It'd be great if you did that. Got a bunch of links down below. You should check all that out. Um, if you want to see how my mind works all inside here, I got that Tumblr page going on right now. God knows what could be on it. It's mostly just green aliens and holographic stuff. <laughs> Pictures of me and my phone just vibrated. Stop. Let's check that, shall we? It only vibrated twice. Oh, texts. Texty, texty. I bet you it's Brian. Or Karen. Karen. Okay, she's inviting me somewhere and I have no idea where. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I love you all and bye-bye.